Hey guys on Road Ventures here. I'm here at the Sheraton Hotel Guam. Um, I was actually uh, invited by DJ Cure uh, to attend a uh, media luncheon. And um, <laughs> I'm so honored. I just don't know where it's happening at. We'll find out. Check this out. Uh, I'll introduce you guys to DJ Cure. How you doing, brother? So cool. So DJ Cure, check it out. There you go, dude. For the bottom. He does have a YouTube channel also. It's called DJ Cure. I'll leave a description on the bottom below. Um, Thank you, man. Check out his vlogs. Check out this guy. <laughs> check out my hair, man. <laughs> okay, go ahead and go in. Boss Rover, how are you doing? This is Rover right here. Yeah, he's the man. I was just, uh, so he's the man. How are you doing, sir? Good. Rod. Ben. 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 This is Ben. For the vlog. There you go. And uh, let's go see what's going on. Media's there. So I got um, a one-on-one -on -one interview with, uh, right here, he has his uh, cookbook <laughs> right here, Philippine Cookery uh, from the Heart to Platter yeah. by Chef Tatong Sartu. Uh, uh, Sartu. Sartu. Sartu, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Chef Tatong Sartu. Yeah. Okay, uh, so uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, let's start off with your name. Sartu doesn't sound like it. Oh, my, okay. my. I'm Filipino, but my last name is actually of French origin. But it's like uh, been uh, in the Philippines for seven generations. I'm okay. really uh, Filipino, just with a foreign sounding last name. Okay, I want a French last name. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, so yeah, how long? Tell me a little bit about. Uh, tell us a little bit about your stuff. Like, uh, how long have you been cooking? I, I I started cooking when I was really young. You know, like like probably six years old. I'd be I'd be you know in the kitchen messing around. I started with like picking the malung. Guy leaves, okay. you know, you're cutting the ends of string beans, yes. and you know, later on you you take over the stir fry and all that. And you know, it was something that was really like um, a normal activity for me. And at the time when, when I was growing up in the Philippines, we didn't have so many restaurants or fast food. So, for example, if you wanted to eat something in particular, you really had to cook it yourself because there was nowhere to buy it. Or even if you could buy it, you'd have to order it. So, you didn't have it yeah. right away. So, you really had to cook all that. And I'm, I'm not from Manila, I'm from the province of Cebu. So, um, on TV, you'd begin seeing these ads of the, you know, like, Pizzas and burgers and all that. So you know, oh, when do I get to taste this stuff? Taste this you know? thing, so yeah. I started cooking all those things at home, experiment. So it became kind of a playing and hobby, you know. That's until uh, I eventually ended up in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, I mean, I've been cooking since I was 15. Also, I love to cook. And um, wow. Uh, um, earlier, I, was, I, I heard you about um, you were like going to different places and you were learning um, different, different recipes, recipies yeah, from yeah. tribes and everything. Yeah. Where in the Philippines? Where I've been, I've been practically all over, all over the country, okay. and um, each region is unique because of number one is um, their geography. You know, there, there, there are certain things that. Um, Certain produce that can be found in other 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 regions. That's one that makes the cooking very unique. Okay. Secondly, also because of the culture, 
So even if people had the same ingredient, but they would always interpret it in a different way. Yeah. So you really see how, how innovative the Filipinos are and there's a lot of stories that go along with it. So it really it really interested me. So I've been doing that for without the intention of writing a book, without the intention of, you know, being uh, focused on you know that type of you know uh, specialty, but I think it just you know happened, and I think that you know it's probably a calling, and, and okay. you know because when when I think when you're aligned with your purpose in life, things come easy, and you know it's yeah. like it all makes sense at a certain you know point. Okay, nice, sweet. So um. Thursday, Thursday, you're gonna be having something going on. Uh, well, I'm doing a Filipino buffet on Thursday, okay. so we're gonna have um, probably 20, 20 dishes or more okay. you know, spread around the restaurant. So it'll be very interesting. So I'll be doing some classics, things that people look for when they eat Filipino food, and I'll be doing some stuff that probably people haven't heard of or haven't tasted before. So it's really, I really want to showcase, you know. Um, how interesting Filipino cuisine is. Okay. So um so yeah, Thursday we're gonna I'm gonna try to come back here uh lunch time. <laughs> so um yeah I'll I'll see you, see you on Thursday. Around, yeah. Again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chef Tatung Sar too right here. He has his own cookbook right here. And uh <laughs> <All this>. right. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna see. Um, if you guys wanna uh, purchase the, uh, his cookbook, it's gonna be all in the description below. Um, and uh, just click on there and just let them know that uh, you saw this video. Thank you very much, guys. Let's go. Lunch, guys, and uh, oh, check out Chef Tatung. <laughs> check out Chef Tatung here at the Sheraton. He's gonna only be here for two weeks. Um, oh, I am so full. Thank you very much uh, for inviting me uh, to this lunch. Um, oh gosh, I'm so full, guys. Come over to Sheraton, the buffet on the bottom. I cannot, oh my God. Um, on Thursday, there's gonna be, uh, chef said that there's gonna be about over 20 plus dishes. La Cascada, La Cascata. <laughs> Here at the Sheraton, over 20 plus dishes. You guys gotta check it out. Um, Thursday and for the next two weeks as well. Um, you guys gotta check it out. Um, lunch and dinner. Again, at the Sheraton. Here. It's not the logo, that's the, the vent. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, yeah, check them out here for the next two weeks. For these guys. Chef Tatung is going to be here um, sharing with us here on the beautiful island of Guam about uh, what his delicacies are that he's learned from 
different places of the Philippines, tribes. Uh, you guys won't be disappointed. It, it's it's and he 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 had this lecture where it is just mind blowing things about food, his recipes, who he is. Uh, okay, my name is Rod Ventures. <laughs>